Hello all. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to use Excel to compute the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the probability distribution that we covered in Chapter 5. Okay, in class we covered only a table and a graph regarding probability distribution, but now I'm going to have a problem with the probability function. Let me ask you this. Consider the following probability function, and I'm going to write it over here. P of x is equal to x divided by 10. Okay, so this is the probability function of random variable x, where each x is the value of that random variable. For, and x now is, is going to be given, for x equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? So the table in class was given to you. What we're going to do now, we're going to create that table. Then we're going to find the probability function um, value for each of these uh, variable values, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? And then we're going to move on to find out the mean, the variance, standard deviation, and in the end, we are going to create a bar graph that shows this probability distribution of this discrete random variable x. Okay, let's start with the table. The first column will be x, and the second column will be p of x. Right now, let's line up all the values of x. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? Now, we don't really know the probabilities of each of these values, but we do know the probability function. So all we need to do now is replace this x here with 1, then replace the x with 2, and then 3, and then 4, right? So let's start with a formula. Remember that Excel starts a formula with equal sign, so that's what we're going to type, equal. Then x for this first one will be this particular value, and I'm not going to type in 1, I'm going to type in the B7, or just click on the cell, because I want a relative cell, actually, divided by, what? 10. Hit enter, and now we have a probability value of 0 0.1, or 10% for this particular value 1. Now, what I need to do is just use this fill out formula button, this black rectangular here at the bottom right, uh, part of the cell, click on it, and drag down, and now we have the probability value of each of these random variable values. So the probability value of uh, x3 will be 0 0.3. Here's the question now. Is this a probability distribution? The first rule is that each of the probability values will be between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. Is that true? Yes, it is. And the second question is, will the total of these probability values equal to 1? Probably yes. So let's, let's try. We're going to use the function sum, so equal SU. I find sum here, double click on it, and then add all of these four values together. That is 1. Okay, so let me delete that. All right, this is great. So once we have the probability values, right, the next thing is to find the mean. Finding the mean is as easy as following the formula for the mean. I'm going to bring the formula right over here, okay, and this is the formula for the mean of uh, probability distribution. That's going to be equal to the sum of all x's times their own probability. Okay, so x time probability for value 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then we add all of them together. So that's going to be the mean. In the third column here, in this table, we're going to put the header of that column, which is going to be x times probability of x. Okay, so x times probability of x will be this particular thing here in brackets. All right, so how do we do it in Excel? We start with an equal sign to create a formula, and then we multiply x by its own probability. Okay, so we hit enter, and now we have the x times probability of x 
what do we need to do now? Just fill out the formula in these other cells, and now we have the probability, um, the, the multiplication of the probability values with their own values. But the next step is to find the sum of all of these probabilities, right? So let's start here with equal SU, and then we find sum, find all the values, add them all up together, and that's going to be 3. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say the mean, I copy that, and I'm going to put mean equals 3. The next will be to find the standard deviation. Actually, uh, the sigma or variance and the standard deviation. Okay, variance is sigma squared. Okay, let me bring in here the formula for standard deviation. Here's what we need to do now. What we need to do here is to find out the mean square, right? So the mean is this squared, right? Then we need to square each of the values, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then multiply those values by their own probability, find the sum of that result, and then minus mean squared. So right here, I will copy this, Put it right over here and then say that's going to be mean squared equals and the mean square actually will be equal mean times itself and that's going to be 9. Okay, so we found these. The next step will be to find the squared axis. So I'm going to type here x squared, right? And then x squared will be equal x times itself right and then drag down to fill out the formula once we find x squared then we're going to have to find uh, the result of x squared times probability so in this column I'm going to write x squared times probability of x right so how do we find that equal sign x squared is this cell right here right times the probability Enter, again, autofill, and that's going to be the x squared times p of x for each of these values. But we need the sum of all of these values, so the sum of all of these four values. The sum will be equal SU, right? Select all these four cells, hit enter, so that's the sum. Okay, so if... Uh, the standard deviation is the square root of this right here, okay? Then the sigma squared will be only the expression inside, okay? So in this case, sigma squared, and I'm going to come right over here, will be equal to, okay? Sum of all of these results will be 10. So I'm just going to get the cell, right, which is F11. And I'm going to do minus mu squared is mean squared. So I'm going to click on that cell 9. I'm going to hit enter, and that is the standard deviation squared or variance, right? Let me write down here. Variance. And here I'm going to write mean. And here I'm going to write mean squared. What about standard deviation now? What is that going to be? That's going to be the square root of the variance. So the square root of the variance would be, uh, uh, we would be using a function in Excel that is called square root. So equals SQ, and we find this SQRT that stands for square root. Square root of what? What number? this number right here. So hit enter, and that's going to be 1. We knew that the square root of 1 was 1 anyway. 
Okay, so now we found everything. Let me put this to the uh, align to the right and these numbers align to the left and that is how we find the mean, the variance and standard deviation of a probability function. Okay, this is great. Let me do something else here. I want to use Excel to create the graph. How do I do that? The first thing you do is you select the X and the P of X columns, right? The values of the random variable and the probability values that are respective to each of these values. So select that particular um, area there, two columns, right? Then you go to insert tab in Excel and then you go to column. The first one is clustered column, so click on that and that's what Excel gives us. But we don't need the X. We don't need the values of the random variable. We just need a graph of the probability values. So what we're going to do in this case is with the graph selected, you see now some uh, contextual tabs, right? And the default one is the design. So in the design, go to the data group and click on select data. Once you click on select data in the legend entries in the uh, box to the left, click on X. Since we don't need that, we need to remove it and then we click OK. Make sure that you make this smaller, right? Um, and now we have the graph of P of X. And if you want, you can make it a little bit larger, but uh, right? So what do we have here? Value 1 of the random variable has a probability of 0 0.1. Value 2 has probability of 0 0.2. Everything that you see here, you see in the graph. Now, the last step would be to copy this graph, go to Blackboard, and in the question, respective question, where I ask you to put the histogram or the bar graph and answer the question, you go inside the box, right? Right-click and click Paste. And that's how you insert the correct um, uh, histogram there. Okay? So that's good. So that is how you actually work with uh, finding the probability values when you have the probability function and a variable um, and its own values, right? You find the mean, you find the variance, you find the standard deviation of that probability distribution. One last thing. Let me show you how you can uh, create a really good looking table in Excel. This is a table. We know that that's a table, but what we're going to do here, we're going to create a you're going to format that as a real table. So in this case, I'm going to use this particular column, color. My table has headers. Yes, it does, because these are all headers. So I click OK, and then that's it. So I select the headers, and what I want to do, I want to go to Home and make that centered. So now I have a good-looking table. I have the mean, variance, standard deviation, right? And I have a graph to show uh, uh, visually what the probability distribution of these particular values of the random variable is. Okay, good luck on your homework and quiz.